accurate, rapid. Accurate, rapid, and detailed information is necessary to report news events. The Media Computer Network is delivering stories about crimes and fires, heroes and felons, life and death. It is front page news when a 911 dispatcher helps a frightened mother with life-saving CPR instruction. The Media Computer Network brings this story to news editors. they got there she had revived the child and uh, they rushed him to the hospital uh, and all of that information came from just two sentences on the on the, the printer saying hey this is what happened we just did this if you're interested give a call the media computer network is the most efficient way to inform all the news media in only a few minutes time the network is very easy to use specific facts are compiled at dispatch centers and crime scenes and sent via any phone to the host computer. Pay phones and cellular phones are also used. The host computer files the messages and immediately retransmits them to all the media without editing. Dispatch centers receive fewer calls for information when the network is used. The message is quickly printed in the newsroom, eliminating misinterpretation of the facts. Reporters and crews can rapidly respond to the scene. We had to get on the telephone and dial 13 or 14 different people, get a hold of the assignment editor, the chief editor, or whatever, and let them know we had a media release that we had all typed up for them. That took a lot of time for the staff in the office. It was a great deterrent to us even telling the public what was going on. It had to be very, 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 very important before anybody would spend that kind of time making those phone calls. Now, with one quick sit-down session at the typewriter, banging out two paragraphs of information and hitting the send button on the computer, we have instant communication with all 13 or 14 media agencies, and we're seeing the radios now covering what's going on in the courthouse much more than they did in the past. Radio news directors Larry Ward and Tyler Cox use the media computer to get the jump on fast-breaking news stories and update their traffic airplanes with highway patrol alerts. We have uh, communications with the city police, uh, fire department, the prison, uh, CHP and a variety of different emergency agencies. Put it on the computer and in a matter of probably about three to four minutes, uh, the news agency is already aware of it. Uh, if they want any more details, they'll give us a call on the phone and we can give them as much as we have at that point. Well, I've never used any other system like this anywhere. In the, in the other cities where I've worked, we've not had a system like this. This is a first that I know of. It's, it's a great tool. The closest thing that I've had before this was in, uh, was in Louisville. We had a voice-activated system there as well. We had the same drawback, and that was if you didn't catch it at first or if the recorder failed, you did not, did not have the information. But to call back, try to contact someone, what was that? We missed the information. This way, you've got it. And it's easy to get second copies as well with the way the system is designed. If we want to have some material for our editors to work with and doing their writing, we also want some material to go into the studio. We hit one button and it prints it out again, and we've got the same material. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, number The network delivers to assignment editor Jan California Richard court Michael calendar Bishop. information. Since we do not have a, a staff person that we can devote uh, their time exclusively to the courthouse, we were looking for a way of finding out about particular cases that are going on in the courthouse, things that we would be interested in. On the night before cases appear on calendar, we do a computer check to find out which cases that the media has previously expressed interest are on calendar for tomorrow. I can then put out a short press release listing those four or five cases, who the deputy district attorney is who has the case, what that deputy district attorney's phone number is, and what court and what time that case is going to be on calendar tomorrow. Court calendars were not readily available before the media computer network. The increased news coverage has aided in criminal arrests and convictions. Folsom Prison uses the network to focus attention on prison violence and paroles. The media computer network proved itself during the Northern California floods. Portable computers were used to send emergency news releases direct from command posts. For TV stations, the network news releases often mean the difference between getting video and not getting it. 
During the disaster, rumors were controlled, emergency information was sent, evacuations expedited, health and safety bulletins were handled. Facts are now clearly understood and not left to interpretation. In its first year, the Media Computer Network has doubled the number of Sacramento emergency agencies using the system. Over 400 messages are sent over the system each month more than 3,500 in just one year. This amounts to over 70,000 deliveries. The MCN is being used as a crime-fighting tool by enlisting the help of the public. When Roger Dixon of the Sheriff's Department assisted Folsom Police Chief Barker, benefits of the system were evident. We checked all the open fields uh, within a probably, what, five-mile five mile radius of the house. Anything? I haven't seen anything, no. We have one local police agency that just last week had a three-year-old missing girl uh, reported missing late in the afternoon. The chief of that department, Folsom Police Department to be exact, called the Sheriff's Department. I wrote the press release on uh, his behalf, sent it out over the system. We were able to get it right off the hotline system. It was in black and white. We had it right there, all the details, and we could immediately react to it. The media arrived very quickly in Folsom and began to broadcast the information that this child had been either abducted or lost. And the next morning after this, uh, now we know, abduction, uh, this child was dumped by the people who abducted her. And it's my belief that the reason that they threw this child out of the car and got rid of her, so to speak, was because the media covered it so well, and they covered it so well because this system got the information out to them so quickly. <laughs> Well, the mother and the child were reunited. And, you know, I think those kinds of things clearly make this system 100% worthwhile. The Media Computer Network, a valuable news gathering tool. Every city should have the Media Computer Network. The following Sacramento Valley Media Association agencies participate in the Media Computer Network, Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. KGNR Radio 1320, Federal Bureau of Investigation, KRAK AMFM, Sacramento County Fire Dispatch, KFBK Radio 1530, California State Prison Folsom, KXOA AMFM, City of Sacramento Police Department, KCRA TV Channel 3, California Highway Patrol, KXTV Channel 10, Sacramento City Police Fire Communication Center, KOVR TV Channel 13, KAER Radio 92.5, Yolo County Sheriff's Office, KCTC FM 96.1, Sacramento Municipal Utility District, KRBK TV Channel 31, Capital City Newswire, KTXL Channel 40, Pacific Bell, Sacramento Union, United States Attorney's Office, KSCH TV Channel 58, Sacramento B, Rancho Seco Nuclear Power Facility, California Computer News, Sacramento County District Attorney's Office, Roseville Press Tribune, Associated Press Wire Service.